Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to turn system protection or system restore off in Windows 10 or 11. Why on earth would you do that? Because it uses up hard drive space. It uses up system resources. And more importantly, if you keep a registry backup, if you keep a backup of your image or partition, if you use Reset This PC, or maybe a third-party app like Windows Repair, which can fix simple problems, you really don't need to use system protection. I do not recommend you disable it if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know how to recover your PC, but us geeks will disable this by default as a one of many performance tweaks you can do in Windows just to improve the way things run. All right, if you're still here, let's go. Press the Windows key plus I or click on Start, Settings. It should open by default to System right here. If so, come over here to the right, go all the way down and click on About. And scroll just a little bit so you don't pass it. Related Links, System Protection. Once you click on that, it's going to open up system, uh, thank you, system Properties in the Control Panel. So you can actually close settings in the background now. Here it is right here. You can see I have it off. All you have to do is click on Configure. And you can turn it on here by clicking here or disable by clicking here. Take note, once you do this and you disable System Restore, it will delete any restore points already saved so you don't have to worry about this. You can see it's using, for example, my PC 1.19. If you're... If you want, you can actually change this as well. So maybe it's using 20%. You want to free up some of the space, you could bring it down to 2 or 3%. So you're not wasting as much space on your drive while you're here. Also, if everything's running well, you can just click delete while you're here. Continue. And delete all your restore points. That can clear up some space for you. Let's turn it on real quick. There we go. And the difference is, the reason I did that is, when you disable system protection, you're going to get a warning. Click Apply. You're going to get this warning right here. Just click Yes, and there you go. Click OK. And when you're done, you can click Close right here. If you're not sure about this, you may want to come back or forth. Check the video description or up in the corner for the eye over here to get to this page. Press Control D and bookmark it in case you forget and you need to change the settings later. Next up, we can use registry files. Click this link right here. Again, in the video description below. If you don't see it, expand it. They only show the first couple of lines. All right. Here it is right here. Click download now. Wait a couple seconds, and they it'll come right up. All you have to do from there is double-click the files. Again, the tutorial link there brings you back to this page that we're at to begin with. And as you can see, you're just going to click on this. There is no file to turn it back on. So once again, you may want to bookmark this page. And you double click the file, click yes, click yes, click OK. And that's it. So again, if you're not sure, please bookmark this page so you don't get in trouble later. But again, this is a pretty handy little I'll call it a 101 tweak. This is something that most of us will do, as mentioned, to help speed up our computers and keep them running smooth. And there you have it. That is how you can turn system protection on or off in Windows 10 and 11. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.